yearn for battle. I yearn for battle. I yearn for battle. Alrighty, looks like we got a game, boys. As long as the other team all readies up. Alright, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. Starting a little bit quicker than we thought we would. <clears throat> we are in a custom game here. And we're going to try out the brand new hero, Imperius. We are on the PTR. So we're going to test that out. We'll be exporting this onto YouTube later. Uh, for his build, I have no idea. I haven't even looked at it yet. So let's have a look. Okay, this adds extra damage onto his Q. The quest is to stun multiple enemy heroes with a single charge. After stunning two heroes, permanently reduce the cooldown by two seconds. Three heroes, reduce it by an additional two. There's another Q talent of seven. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. I should probably look at his talent builds before we got into this. Uh, see if we can pull it up while we're loading. And I honestly wasn't expecting to find a game that quick. Usually on PTR, you got a while to look around <laughs> before you have to actually figure anything out before you have to play the game, you know? All right, let's see. Is he on Sonic Storm yet? He was, his information was leaked early, so he might be. H.I. Hanzo Illidan. So he'd be between those two. So he's not. All right. How about... What else? Heroes Fire or Heroes Hearth? Heroes Hearth might have something, right? Let's see here. All right, here's a build straight off the bat. We could try this out. Uh, looks like it's basically Q with a little W mixed in. All right, let's try that. We'll try this. We'll let them guide us for this first one. Hey, Swarth, how's it going? All right, so first thing we're taking is the Q quest. Should work out well on this map, I think. Uh, I might need to turn on quick cast on release on this guy. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. Just until I get used to him. Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. And then the E is just an area around him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do this. How are you doing today, Swarth? This will be our first time. We haven't even tried him in try mode or anything, so... All right. We did okay there, considering we got flipped at the beginning. So our goal is to impale multiple targets, and this actually looks like it's going to be pretty hard to do. Oh my god. Alright, well we survived there, and we had no business surviving there, so... Uh, kind of want to chase this, but also realize that I'll probably die in the process. Maybe we can get a little bit of... All right, uh, we need someone top lane. Tyrael can go. Oh, mistakes were made. Oh, mistakes were made. All right, I need to actually read what these do. Double heal versus heroes. Slow down, right? Yeah, and then stun. And our quest is to impale multiple heroes with a single stun. I think this is actually going to be really hard, especially if we're in solo lane, so we're going to come into mid lane. Can someone cover solo bottom? Get wrecked. Okay. Trash talking, huh? On PTR, huh? Alright. That's fine. That's how we going to play it. 
God, that's hard to combo. Rag should solo bot. I agree. Rag should solo bot. <clears throat> that stun is actually quite a long time, but you can't do anything else while you have them stunned. Hey, Estrella, how you doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we got one! We got one with two! We got one with two! All right. How many times do I have to do that? <laughs> oh, just two. Okay, that's fine. It's hard. It's not easy to get multiple people. I feel like someone's gonna get thrown over that wall, and I really don't want it to be our rag. We must capture the enemy's prison camp, but they will try to capture ours as well. Oh no! I missed everybody. He has a lot of auto attack damage. I didn't realize that till just now. Get him. Get him. Good job. Good job. Alright, our build guide had the W talent next. Hitting a hero grants 60 physical armor for the next two seconds. Stores up to four charges. Alright, cool. So hit our W's. Got it. I need to drink and I need to get over there. I'm your enemy, I'm playing with Rhaegar. Oh, cool. Right on. Quest done. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm so out of mana. Oh, misjudged where he was going to be there. Hey, cool. I thought I had you there. No mana sucks. Alright, let's go back. We got the objective. We can push probably... Mid lane is our best bet for pushing, but top and bottom have boss, so they're more value. Looks like we're going to go mid and top. That's fine. Uh, the hero with charge deals extra damage around the target. Okay. So our Q now basically exploderates, which is pretty cool. Alright. Oh, that feels good, baby. That feels good. Oh, I'm dead. Probably. I don't have enough mana to E. He's gonna Q me in two, one, Q. Into my tower, though. Still got me. Dang. My two teammates mid didn't notice any of that. <laughs> That's okay. YOLO pushing has to happen sometimes, right? They really didn't get much done past the fort, which is a bummer. Uh, maybe we can get some value there. Yeah, I know. I see it. I don't think I have all that great of wave clear. Yeah, I really don't. Maybe if I line up my W. No, it's still not that good. 
We have tens. Team got Fort Bottom. I shouldn't probably be split pushing right now. I started a 7 days to die game with the name of Imperius. Nice. I approve. Alright, we got bottom. We're pushing top decently, considering we're pushing against the Abathur. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> so that'll be the theme of the day. Alright. Sounds good. Uh, which ultimate did this guide recommend? Angelic Armaments. Alright. I should probably go down to the objective. Why the hell am I split pushing still? It's okay, our team's team fighting on mid, so... I'm not the only one who's doing something that doesn't make any sense. We shouldn't have been diving them under their keep when the objective was up. That was really, really dumb. Plus, they were down a person. So, <clears throat> very bad life decision. This is what we should be doing. And I was trying to deal with the Abathur push top. But we're definitely going to lose top fort. Abathur's focusing on it. Uh, did our rag take fire wave? He didn't. Against an Abathur. Okay. Interesting life decision. Right, we chased a little bit far there. I say Rhaegar could be coming in right here. We can probably hold this. We killed two people there. Check the bush. They're doing a camp, probably. Is that what's happening? Oh, oh, you got deleted from existence, friendo. Oh, well, we got the objective, but that was, uh, that was not worth. Baited. We got jabated. Hmm. So basically, we're gonna get nothing out of the objective. They'll probably end up pushing, to be honest. That's okay. What'd the objective ever do for us anyway? Besides, like, win games, right? So, E build, EE, e, and then upgrade. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, that was a judgment. Alright, alright. Let's push mid real hard with this then. Wonder if he gets his bonus when he when the uh, rider is running through him there for like the half second or whatever that is. Good kill. Not bad. Fight. 
The Abathur clone just debated the Alarak. It's kind of hilarious. I can't take the immortal or the boss or whatever the core. We we dove in way too deep there. Way too deep there. Way too deep there. That chase was super greedy. Uh yep, playing Imperious right now, Pyro. How's it going, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh! I accidentally put the game as Might of Magic instead of Heroes of the Storm. Oops. <clears throat> I'm so good at this YouTube or er, Twitch thing. Yeah, I should probably get out of there. They're right. I need to fix. I need to fix the category. It says the wrong thing. Oh God. Why? Heroes of Might of Magic instead of Heroes of the Storm. Nailed it. Update. All right. <coughs> <clears throat> That's fixed. <laughs> Playing Might and Magic, yeah. Apparently. Apparently. Alrighty. This is our chance. Free our warriors and unleash their rage. Okay. Consuming a molten armor mark reduces the target's armor. Or grants armor. Um I'm actually gonna go with the Grant's armor. It's not what the build says, but that's what I'm gonna do. Well, that happened. Yeah, I would love to get out of there. <clears throat> Alright, cool. I'm out of mana. Boy, he's mana hungry. I think I intercepted that stun. I was trying to stun myself, but here comes a deadly charge. Three, two, one. Knew it was coming. Was getting ready to counterplay it. Got two. Nice. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. We just wait for the objective now, boys. Or we could just tank three-fourths of our life and damage from the keep. That works, too. That's another choice. Uh, Tyrael is out of mana, so he went back. That is fair. I should have done that, but I chose not to. Self-heal quite a bit with the E there. What does Imperius do? He's kind of a bruiser. <clears throat> He's kind of like a mixture between like Sonya and Varian, I would say. First impression, I barely played any, but that's my first impression of him anyway. GG. I didn't get a feel for him until about two-thirds of the way through the game there. He seems fun. Um, so hard to tell how powerful he is on a PTR, but he definitely seems fun. I'll probably queue up into another custom game with him. If you want to join Pyro, you're welcome to. Um, I'll play someone else, give someone else a chance to play Imperius, and then we'll go back to him. Mix of Sony and Varian. Yeah, he's got a lot of self-sustain type things. He's got a, basically, his Q is Sonya's Q, except they can impale multiple targets, 
which is pretty cool. Um, his W is very and slow, basically. And his E is like Sonya's whirlwind, except it can't be interrupted. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. Haunted Minds, huh? Sure. Um, you know, I'm going to go back into it in just a second. I'm going to switch off of Varian so people don't think I'm trying to take him. Oh, or my game will just freeze, apparently. All right, there we go. Uh, let's play... Let's play Falstad. They specifically mentioned Falstad in the trailer that he was a good counter, so let's see if he actually is. Join the game, you bastards. Well, I mean, when you put it like that, how can I not? You don't have HOTS installed on PTR or on live? That's fine. Uh, good game, by the way. Last game, Swarth, if you're still there. Oh, he's not. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. So he was... Okay. Interesting. Oh, you know, I don't know if I posted that I was live. I don't think I did. All right. Not bad. I don't think I tweeted it either. This doesn't seem to be happening. I could probably just solo queue a quick match with Falstad and get a game pretty quick. I don't think that that would be all that difficult to do. My dad wiped my hard drive because of a virus and I didn't reinstall it. That sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. So I guess Swarth was just into stream snipe, lol. That's fine. It was still fun having someone on the enemy team in here. Either way. <clears throat> what happened to my lobby? That's what she said. <laughs> XD. All right, so we have an Abathur again. Abathur did see some changes on Monstrosity, so that's understandable. Okay, good. We don't have an Abathur. That's even better. <laughs> we have the Angelic du Duo of Tyrael and Imperius getting along as they always do. What, are you 12? I think that's being a bit generous, don't you? I feel like, feel like that's being a bit generous. No, she's talking to me, Pyro. She's talking to me. Because I typed, uh, that's what she said, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. It's no big deal. Pyro's like, what, you talking about my age? Huh? You talking about my age? Ooh. <clears throat> I need to take my medicine. <laughs> I'm going to go do that real quick while this game is loading in. Game's up. Wasn't able to find it in time. 
It's okay. I'll take it during the long queue for next game. All right. Let's do... Ugh, it's this map. Okay. I think they even advertised that. I just didn't pay attention. I mean, I guess I'm probably the sole lane, huh? I suppose. Imperius does the limbo as his dance? Nice. Nice. Alright, who am I solo laning against? Orphea? Or Jaina? Or Hanzo? It's gonna determine the build I go here. They have all five bottom. It's a good map for mercenary control. Get the lane of soak, rotate down to help the team. Oh, I have quick cast on release globally. Shoot. I definitely do not want that on false dad. Yeah, that's super awkward and hard to use. We need to fix that. Uh, hotkeys, quick cast. <clears throat> Get back up top. Imperius should be 100% with the team right now. Didn't mean to offend you, Pyro, just saying. Rough. Hashtag husband life. I probably can't do this yet since I don't actually have my self-sustain, huh? I mean, like, I could take a really long time and dodge everything and do it. They're just straight up yellow pushing bottom. It's kind of funny. See if this strategy works out for them. It might. I don't think so, though. I mean, if they kill stuff and take forts, then I guess it would. Rotate's coming, I guess. I... Yep, it was. A little PTR lag there. If you click zoom in when Amy blow blurs everything around you, looking at it sharpens the contrast like focusing seven days to die. Turn off uh, depth of field. Turn off depth of field and it fixes that. Unless you like that. I should be in the mines right now. I'm just gonna clear this massive wave for experience first, though. All right, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna fly to team. Where am I needed? That guy's definitely dead. Maybe we can get in there and slow down the enemy team. Nope. Yeah, we're just gonna peace out of there. That's annoying. Are we still fighting in an outnumbered situation, huh? Yeah, I'm not doing that. You guys are fighting 2v5. That's dumb. That's dumb, friend. Oh, and our Imperius is calling GG, huh? Alright. At the four minute mark, guys. GG. 
Because they got seven, uh, 90 skull golem or 80 skull golem. Must be GG. Lord. It's going to be one of those games. Actually, I'm just going to tap. Yep, Imperius is calling GG. We lost the first objective, so, I mean, it's got to be GG, right? Hey, he wastes his holy shock. Oh, he's just going ham, isn't he? Does he actually think he's going to win that? He's got to know he doesn't win that, right? Like, somebody's got to tell him. <laughs> oh, he suicided so he could spam heal the minion wave. That's really weird. So that our golem would die quicker, I guess? Or something? Well, I just killed two people. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't have anything to get out. I'm, I have no mana. If I had enough mana for a barrel roll, I would have been fine. That's too bad. Well, despite the fact that I killed two people up top, we still apparently lost the fort. Alright. <laughs> Guys, I lost one fight with Diablo. It's over. Yep. Yeah, my team, unfortunately, is doing just that. They are letting it do something. And now we're chasing into a fight that's going to get us killed. Oh, we got a kill. I could fly down there. No, I can't. Just kidding. Forget I said that. Material went super deep for no reason. And he died. Dude, my team is some level of dumb. They're about to collapse on me. Should have gusted earlier. Should have gusted earlier. I thought it would go off right before the stun hit. We're still ahead on XP. We're about tied. It's pretty close. That was a great silence. I'm going to fly in and gust. Did I just debate my team? Did I just like super debate my team? Oh, that was a judgment. All right. Well done. Double kill. All right, we're fine. It wasn't a debate after all. Aren't you the one who called GG? See, I told you we could do this if we just play together. <laughs> Literally the person who called GG earlier. Oh, 
I'm fine, Nova. Don't worry, Bay. Doesn't that mean good game so far? Oh, that's what it means, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. They're probably going to invade and take this from us. Sad as that is. Nope. Alright. We're too busy dying. Split up. I'm going to fly in right as they both die, aren't I? Yup. Fuck me. This, uh, Imperius is super smart. Oh, the camp we took is, uh... You're taking the objective on their side of the map, and you are surprised that you got ganked. Okay. You say so, buddy. Where were you? Literally flew in, you idiots! This Imperius is absolutely infuriating. What an absolute idiot. Where were you? I literally flew to them and died because their idiotic call. <laughs> Zan, you're being a bit toxic. This guy is so dumb. So dumb. Like, seriously, are you reading what's happening right now? Alright. Uh, I can save Nova, I think. If I get down there with a Q to slow them. Oh, she ran away from... Okay, good. Good, good, good. Please, at least it's not Bronze 5. I mean... Are you sure about that? <laughs> The Nova seems good, and the Sukov seems good. The Tyrael seems fine. The Imperius seems absolutely oblivious. Good, good judge, good judge. Can turn... Oh. Alright. Too low on health to chase. Clear the big minion wave. Uh, I do have fly... Fly in 45 seconds. Uh, I can bribe our siege. I'll apply pressure bottom as the objective spawns. I should wait till the objective spawns, though. Choose a talent. I have two a bribe. I have two a bribe. You don't need to come with me. I have two a bribe. Literally just pinged it. All right, come on with me, Imperius. That's okay. Uh, their whole team is there. Reset. That basically negated his ult. 
Well, that sucks. I traded, but I wasn't expecting... To Wasn't expecting him to drop the drop the root or drop the silence. My bad. <clears throat> he got dove, so he had to drop it. <coughs> it just happened to be right after I went in. They've got that kill on the Uther. They should still have that kill on that Uther. Oh, she missed her snipe, never mind. Oh, triple tap best ult in the game. Here we go. What? They killed you while you triple tapped? That can't even be possible. Alright. In before Imperius blames me. Alrighty. Well. They have two people clearing it. One going in mines. There's nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I can do. Alright. Imagine everyone's bronze five. All righty. Our Imperius is now AFK. Cool. I love our Imperius. You're right. I was just being toxic before. Nothing wrong with him. Oh my god. That's so much CC. Yep. 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 Good AFK. Well, we're now in a literal 4v5 for the rest of the game. Your enemies fall before you. Actually, I think we're doing better now that we don't have our Imperius. Nope. Get away from me. Yeah, I don't feel like Falsac counters him all that well, to be honest. I shouldn't have went back in there. That was dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. I definitely should not have went back in there. I got the greed going. 98 school objective. AFK Imperius for five minutes. Literally been AFK for five minutes. He moved once to stop from getting disconnected. Ah, it's been four minutes, actually. My bad. Yep. Yep. That's what I get for letting someone else play Imperius. Uh, what was his name? It was like Slith... Slytherin? <laughs> uh, Slain. Alright. Uh, anyone want to join in? I think I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm afraid the quick match time is going to be like an hour, so we'll keep doing customs, but... If you want to join, you're welcome to join. 
A new friend request. All right. Yeah, you can join. Me. Yeah, come on in, modest. You gotta get in before the custom game starts, so. We got Moo Cats in here too. Nice. Actually, if we could get like a five man or a three man, we might be able to just like queue up as a group. Got a healer coming. There's good lad. If we had one more, we'd have a five man, but. Alrighty. Yep. 100%. If he can't save you, no one can. Alrighty. Uther can save. Look at Ariel, huh? Interesting. How many champs did they release after White Main? Oh, dude, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> after White Main. Malganus, Mephisto, Urel. No. Malganus and Mephisto, definitely. Malganus, Mephisto. Oh, yeah, okay. It actually lists them in order. So, uh, Orphea, Malganus, and Mephisto. Yep. Those three, and now Imperius, have come after White Mane. They're slowing down the, re the release of, uh, of heroes. The Light Abandoned Snowman. All right. So we tried a Q build last time. That seemed pretty good, but we ran out of mana really quickly. This seems like it'd be good. Consuming a Solarian's Fire Mark deals bonus damage equal to 3% of the hero's maximum health. That's only if we get auto attack in after a W. That seems kind of weak. I think consuming the flame would be better. Physical armor with our W. That seems really good. Activating molten armor removes roots and slows. If a disabling effect is removed, heal for 250. So you can cleanse roots and slows from yourself. And heal yourself. That's strong. Heal for 82 health every time Valorous Brand Mark is consumed. So not only do you heal from the actual AoE, but you also heal from auto-attacking with that. Four times 19 is about 80. So it basically would double your healing. With each auto attack you get. That seems extremely, extremely good. Hitting a hero marked by Solarian's fire with Celestial Charge deals 160 damage around the target. We did that one. Lion that scorches the earth along the center, exploding after two seconds, dealing an extra 125 damage. I've seen that one used by enemy Imperiuses in both my games. Activate to cause the next four basic attacks to cleave for 157. I can see that comboing really well with Q. Q in, stun them, W, and then cleave auto attack. Maybe. Maybe. And then again, this just combos well, period.
Charge in a direction, lifting enemy hero into heavens while in the air imperial sincere landing location. After two seconds, slam the target for 375. Six swords times 140. So 840 or 375. Okay. Trait build, huh? Maybe. This one was pretty good. Where are the other ones? Sun enemy heroes with celestial charge reduces their damage by 35%. I definitely should have done that with the Q build instead. Molten armor now heals 25% more while Imperius is below 50% health. So if you pop it as a life save. Okay. Stab me like one of your Diablo girls. Good lad, please. You're killing me here. Stunning an enemy hero with Celestial Charge grants 50% attack speed and 20% movement speed. That's really good. The other two talents are so good too, though. I could see that working. If you do the attack speed with the Holy Fervor, you have like 50% faster cleaves. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Combo that with Battle Hunger, you could have an extremely tanky Imperius. I just don't know if he'll do much damage. <clears throat> Maybe if you take the Q Talon at 1, that could work. Yeah, you could go an AA build in that case, yeah. Interesting. Not sure why I want to play with here. Probably not an AA build against an Illidan. Oh, it's Zaskorp. I know him. And Nox. I know him too. We got some quality players on the enemy team. All right. Maybe you could go a AA build. Yeah. Yeah. If they didn't have an Illidan, I think I would do an AA build. I think a W build might be better against him. <clears throat> We're doing point control, though. Our solo lane is definitely a Gul'dan or Alarak. Probably Gul'dan. Okay, never mind. It's Alarak. Cool. Does Imperius' penetrating ability displace the targets? Uh, I think it just pulls them straight up. Kind of like Kael'thas' tornado. <clears throat> I believe. If I were to try to hit a skill shot while well, targets penetrated, does target move and I'll miss? I don't think so. We'll find out. We'll find out for you here in just a second. I think we're going to do the Consuming Flame quest. Uh-oh. That Rainer wants to kill me something fierce. That Rainer is a rough issue for me. Yeah, Rainer's putting a lot of pressure. 